I am in Welcome Ocean RC, Captain Mike here. The Sky RC T6200 is a pro high-end charger. It's capable of charging LiPo, LiFi, Lion, NICAD, nickel metal hydride, as well as lead acid batteries. You can view or download the PDF manual under the support tab on the product page. This will allow you to get acquainted with the many T6200's features and determine if this charger is right for you before making your decision. The T6200 comes with 4mm bullet connectors and will attach to most AC-DC power supply units. The T6200 requires a power supply of 11 to 18 volts. It can also be powered by a 12 volt car battery. When using a car battery, it will require power leads that can fasten to the battery terminals and an XT60 female connector. I'm using the eFuel 15 to 30 watt power supply set to 17 volts. Equipped on the T6200 is a power input plug charge lead port, bounce board port, PC link to be controlled by a computer, battery temperature port, a balance lead motor sensor to measure RPMs on a motor, a servo and ESC tester port, and a 5 volt 1 amp USB port. If charging chiclet batteries for microplanes, a USB battery adapter will be needed, such as this E-Flight adapter. To help the cooling during charging operations, it has an air intake in the front with dual fans in the back. The charger can be raised by extending the feet from underneath. Included in the kit, is a TX60 connector with 4mm plugs to power from the AC-DC power adapter, a balancing board, charging lead without a connector so you can customize to your needed plug. Many charging leads can be used as long as they are equipped with 4mm bullet connectors. I'm using banana plugs to T connector. Be sure to consult your battery's manufacturer's manual and safety instructions. I'm using our Admiral 4000 4 cell battery. For added safety, I'll set the charging parameters in the system's menus before charging. The T6200 has a touchscreen interface instead of a standard 4 button configuration. Several settings can be changed per menu page. This eliminates confusing menus and allows easier setups. Set the cell count by touching the cell's icon. LiPo, Lion, and LiFi can be set 1 to 6 cells. NICAD and nickel metal hydride, 1 to 15 cells. Lead acid batteries, 1 to 10 cells. Press the capacity icon. Here the battery's capacity can be set from 100 to 20,000 milliamps. Charge current can be set from 0.1 to 12 amps. And the discharge rate can be set 0.1 to 5 amps. Under the settings tab, this will allow the charger to be customized. You can turn on or off beeps and buzzards for a quieter operation, change the language to Chinese, change the LCD brightness, remote setting, good question, there's no mention of it in the manual. The theme can be set though, four different colors to choose from. Check the firmware under the about key, restore the charger back to factory defaults. Under safety settings, the capacity cutoff can be set. This sets the maximum charge a battery will receive. If the charger tries to charge past this setting, it will shut itself down. The cutoff can be set from 100 to 20,000 milliamps. Safety time can be set 1 to 720 minutes. If the battery does not charge in the allotted time, it will shut itself down. The internal temperature can be set as well as the battery temp if using the temperature probe. I'll show you that in a moment. The cutoff temperature can be set 20 to 80 Celsius and that's 68 to 176 Fahrenheit. If the temperature reaches this limit, it will shut itself down. Under charger parameters, the end voltage per cell can be set. If the charger tries to go over the prescribed voltage, it will shut itself down. If discharging a battery, the voltage can also be set. If the charger tries to discharge below this rate, it will shut itself down. Presets allow the charger to store up to five different charge or discharge profiles for your convenience. 
On the home screen, when charging lithium batteries, make sure the correct battery type is selected. Five charging options are available for LiPo batteries. The charge option is for normal charging. Discharge mode is for discharging a battery. Storage is for charging or discharging batteries that will not be used for a long time. Fast charge will charge a battery at a faster rate, but may not fully charge the battery to its peak charge. When charging LiPos, it is strongly suggested to charge in the balanced mode. This will charge all the cells more equally and give the battery a longer life. A battery temperature probe can be used. This will monitor the temperature of the battery during the charge cycle. Plug the probe into the temperature port and apply the Velcro strap around the battery. To initiate the charge cycle, press Start. The available screens during charge are as follows. Balance charge. This will monitor the battery capacity, the time during the charge process, and the current, as well as temperatures of the charger and battery. Balance status will show each individual's cell voltage and battery's resistance. Voltage curve graph showing the time and voltage. To stop the charge cycle at any time, press stop. The T6200 can be connected to a PC-based computer. Go to skyrc.com, click on products, click on charger under the category menu, click on the T6200 charger, click software, then download the ChargeMaster program. To use the ChargeMaster program, a mini to normal USB cord will be needed. Plug the mini to the charger and connect to a computer. You can set up the charger settings and monitor pack voltage, cell voltage, and other settings during charging. Also, view charge data in real-time graphs. You can initiate control charging and update firmware from the ChargeMaster program. The T6200 has other features available. A voltmeter will check a lithium's total voltage and give the highest and lowest cell. Nickel and lead acid batteries will show the overall voltage. The T6200 also can check servos. Plug the servo into the ESC slash servo port. Push start. Set the pulse period and check the response to different pulse widths. Another feature that this charger can boast about is it's able to check RPMs on motors with a sensor wire. If you don't have one, you can check the ESC at least. Follow the instructions in the charger's manual for correct setup. Once done, press the start, change the pulse rate, and check the ESC. The T6200 is truly for the RC enthusiast. You'll enjoy the easy navigation in between menus. The T6200 turns a charger into a workstation. And with its touch screen, it brings to mind that old adage, what you see is what you get. With that, I'm Captain Mike at Motion RC. We will see you at the next video. See ya! Stick a monkey pants.